Hi guys, welcome back to part three. Um, yesterday we got to a decent um, position with our CSS and our markup. So today I want to actually start doing the components for um, this home section. Um, to begin with, I just want to analyze the page and see that, like what parts are rep repetitive. And as we can see, we've got this uniquely yours section and we've got the focus section. And we've also got some more um, like sort of categories beneath. And we've also got these cards which repeat. So there, like from just from analyzing that, I know what um, components we need to do. So I'm going to jump back straight into the code, and I just want to just underneath this main content. This is where I want the categories to render. So I'm just going to call a categories component, and then I'm going to set it up in the components file. And I just want to do import react from react and then const categories arrow function return let's return an empty div for now um, export it and now let's import it here And let's just check it's working by doing. So that's coming through, which is great. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna start moving the categories in. And all the categories have got a wrap around it called cards wrap. So let's just, let's just delete the first one. And then let's cut the second one out. I think I'm missing a div tag there, but and let's just put that straight in the return for now and add that missing div. Okay, so we also need to bring the play icon in um, because now the categories are on a different page, so it's importing it in the wrong place. Same port here. This will also have to be moved into the card um, when we do it, but just to avoid the error, we'll just put it there. Um, so now we've just got one category. What we want to do is we want to, like, in the practical scenario, there would probably be an API request which pulls in all the data, or um, it would be managed with state. But for now, just so we can get the categories out there, we'll just hard code a um, object. So let's do const data categories equals array and then let's just do an object with id1 name category and let's repeat this a few times so we got four categories and we got four ids for the categories um, and we actually want to return four individual cards wraps now. So because we've got to do an outer div, let's just put a div there. And then within, sorry, let's just do, let's move this up. I'm used to using sublime text, so I'm not so good with the shortcuts on VS Code. Let's do data categories dot map. So this is going to loop through each of the categories. We'll define it as category. So now if we refresh, yeah, we've got four. Four loads of categories, which is great. Now let's change this to category dot name. With curly braces. And as you can see, we've got the category names. Let's also add a tagline.
actually let's go to the Spotify app and like take um, their category name so it looks a bit better. So category one is called focus. Also we'll tackle this uniquely yours later. Uh, music to help you concentrate. Category two is mood. Playlists too much your mood. Let's ignore that because it's too big. Soundtrack your home. That doesn't actually have a tagline. Let's do an empty string. And kick back this Sunday. Cool. Let's check our app. So we've got those categories in which is great and now we want to actually do um, a component for these um, cards so I'm going to name them playlists because if we look here they're all individual playlists so let's do the same as we did earlier let's look here um, Okay, I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to take the cards wrap in there and move it into the component. So let's just do playlists. But slightly different here. We want to pass down the ID of the category because we want to relate to the category um, we've passed through. So we, we show the right um, playlists. So I'm going to pass it through as a prop. I want to do category.id. And let's just create a component called playlists.js import react from react const playlists. Return empty div again. Export it. So if we import this at the top now, we should see yeah, it's coming through four times. Let's just change my I'm going to take the whole div that's inside cards wrap in there and add it to playlists and we also need to import the play icon from categories now because of course it's going to be showing within these components And now, as you can see, they're all um, showing you, but we want them to be dynamically um, pulling in according to like whatever data that we're passing in. So I'm just going to hard code another object here. Like I said, in future videos, we'll probably move this to state um, because we probably need like a global state. But for now, let's just do const data playlists equals array again do an object do ID so this is going to be the ID of the playlist I'll just do a hundred and one so we don't get confused and then we want to do category ID we want to set the category ID to the relevant um, like we've got four IDs here so we want to use one of these IDs let's just do category I3 name so this is going to be the playlist name what was this Uh, we'll just name it home playlist one and 
to do three of these. Let's keep the ID of the category the same. And now let's do the same for category one. My name is Focus Playlist One. Focus. No, actually, let's just do one for there. ID four. What was that? Playing that Sunday playlist. And let's just do two for category two. So we've now got seven categories, uh, no, seven playlists, sorry. And we now want to filter. We basically only want to show the playlists for the correct category. So how we're going to do that is we're going to do another variable here beneath the, the object. And we're going to name it matched playlists equals and we want to use the filter function so we're going to do data playlists dot filter but we also want to pass through props because props is going to allow us to access the id through the uh, the component and what i want to do is i'm going to loop through all the playlists and we're going to call them we're going to declare it as playlist do an arrow function and then let's return only playlists so let's do playlist dot category ID where the playlists category ID matches the props dot category ID this will now return an array with the filtered out categories, the, uh, the filter out playlist, playlists depending on the category ID. Bit uh, complicated to explain, but you'll see what I mean now. So now we can do map on this array, do playlist, and we only need the first card. delete all the rest keep the last div <clears throat> so let's just test this is working okay we've got an issue Some, okay, this is capital. Um, this, let me just change this. Let me change this. Okay, great. That's working. Um, yeah. So if you don't know how filter works, it just takes it loops through all these playlists we've got in the object above, and then it declares it as playlist, and then it matches. The, it only returns the array depending on this like operator so I wanted it to match the card category we ID we through we pass through so the match playlists are only going to return focus playlist one for the first component um, I think I explained that <laughs> correctly so we can now actually get images Just take this down. We put that on the Sunday playlist.
we should also do some validation as well where we um if the fields aren't populated then we can like throw up like show a placeholder or something I'm just going to take any image. Last one. And now let's change the source of the image to playlist. And cool. So we're pulling through the data. We could also do the tagline at the bottom or description. description cool so that's looking a much much better now and much more like Spotify is okay so I think I'm gonna end, end the video there because I think we've done some um, some good progress um, the next video I'll probably tackle the navigation, um, use React Router, and for the rest of the styling we can just do it as we go along, so cool.